What's up, ladies and gentlemen? So in this video, I'm going to show you how I turn my designs or how I get my designs to have that distressed uh, vintage look. So this is going to be a quick tutorial. I'm on a Mac using Photoshop, and there are several ways you can accomplish this look. But I'm going to show you how I do it and why I think um, this method is my favorite way to do it. So I'm in Photoshop. I have the merch by Amazon template. I put a black background. I'm going to be using in the first example. I have a text, simple text. This is my green shirt. Now, what I'm going to do right here with the text is I'm going to uh, rasterize it. So let's go and rasterize type. You can do this same thing right over here. You go to type and you will be able to find rasterize layer type layer once you have the type rasterize you want to be looking for the texture you want to use uh, on your on your type to make it have that vintage distress look for this example i'm going to be using this one i'm not quite sure where i got this but i like how this one looks so what i'm doing here is command a select it all command c i'm going to copy it and right here what i'm going to do is on my layer this is my green shirt on the text layer i'm going to hit add layer mask once i add layer mask it'll create this little white box on the little white box i want to uh, click alt option so hold alt option click once you click there, you'll have this white uh, get background. Now, right here is where I'm going to paste my texture. So, Command V, and I have my texture uh, pasted right there. I'm going to resize it, kind of fit the dimension. I think I like it like that. There we go. Now let's click on the other layer. So where the, I have the type and you can see that I created that little texture effect. Now, the reason I like using this method is if I actually don't like it or I just want to edit it, I can go in, the, in there and kind of work with it, not um, affecting my original design. So let's say I actually don't like this. I can just click here delete it and my design goes back to how it was now let's go back again and do it again copy and paste now this time i'm going to play around a little bit so i'm just going to be playing around with it what i'm just going to do is pretty much copy and paste it or make copies of it and kind of get more i guess more of a distressed look with it so let's just leave it at that, have a look at it, and you can see I created more of a distressed look. So let's say I like how that looks, and then I can pretty much just save it and get it ready to be uploaded in any of the print-on-demand platforms. Now, if you don't have a, that texture black and white image, we can go create one with almost pretty much any texture. So I'm going to be using Pixabay, going to be typing texture, now you can use almost pretty much anything i want to still have that grungy uh, distressed look so let's see if i can find something so this one's pretty good uh, this one's not bad I, that one's pretty good so you can pretty much pick any of these things i think this one's really nice so we'll be using this grunge distress texture excellent just download it and we'll put it into Photoshop. We have our image right here in Photoshop. What we want to do is create, make it into a black and white image. For this, what I'm going to do is go to image, adjust, and then use threshold. Let's say about right here, press OK. Now I'm going to do this almost the same thing I did um, with the previous image. So I'm going to be using Command A. I can select it all. Command C. 
So I'm going to copy it. For now, for this example, I'm going to use this shamrock four leaf clover for leaf. So right here on my, on my four leaf clover, pretty much the same process. So I'm going to click on that layer, go to add layer mask, go on to the white section right here, press option, alt option, click on that. I should have this white background right here. I'm going to press command V and I should have that image copied right there. So now I'm just going to try to get this all filled up. Just extend it almost throughout the whole border. Okay. And then once I go to the clover, I should have that distress look. And there you go. Now, if I think this is too much or too little, I can go back in, in this layer right here. So I'm going to be Alt Option, click on where my distress uh, texture image is, and I can adjust it with the level. So I go to Image, Adjust, Level. So if I want to have less of a distressed look, I'll go more towards the white. And if I want a lot of distress, I'll go more to my black. I press OK. And right there, and then you have a more of a distressed look. All right, so that's pretty much what I do to create a distressed uh, vintage look with my design. I typically upload a clean version as well as the stress version. And depending on the style of design I'm, I'm using, I sometimes have the distress uh, vintage look uh, design do a lot better than you. It just really depends on the uh, type of style you're trying to convey. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today. Quick and easy, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Peace.